What's up, everybody? Welcome back. We're on version 2024, 12.3.3, full self-driving, supervised. We're going to be doing a quick drive to In-N-Out Burger, stop by Wow Car Wash. Basically, today we're going to be doing some city streets testing. I got it set on assertive, minimal lane changes. Now, I do want to mention I was out this morning and again just really difficult to change lanes hesitation slow to merge once they tweak that i can't wait to see it i, I believe there's another rollout coming down the pipe uh, pipeline right now as well so we should be getting another update to full self-driving soon now we're going to be wanting to take a right here shortly had a lot of traffic Another setting I do want to mention, oh, they got it all blocked off here with cones, but another setting I did change on autopilot is I turned off the automatic set speed, so I currently have it for a 15% offset. On the freeway, though, we're still on V11 stack. When you, I'm going to go ahead and arrow over here. Now, as soon as we come off the freeway here, you're gonna see this change here shortly. About, should turn onto the V12 stack here any second. Now, it's hard to tell because when you have it set to the automatic set speed, it will show max here, but I believe now we're on the V12 stack. So we're gonna be taking a right at this first intersection. This is a yield, oncoming traffic. So to my left, we're completely clear. Go ahead and beat that radar detector. So yeah, every day driving with full self-driving, I feel like it acts a little bit different. Sometimes when there's another rollout of another update in the pipeline, I feel like there's some switches that got changed. So it's, it's nice to be able to test it daily to see if it's improving at all. It's kind of a phenomenon when it improves before an update. I'm sure a lot of you have noticed that. Maybe like a week or two into an update, it all of a sudden it gets extremely better. All right, we got the green light. That Mustang is loud. I did switch it to daylight view, so maybe it'll pick up better on the camera. It is pretty bright today. I've noticed dark mode. I like driving in dark mode all the time, but I notice that sometimes it doesn't pick up well on the camera. Yeah, so I switched off the automatic set speed, so that way we can control the speed a little bit better. I do like using it, though. Just need to tweak it a little bit. It speeds just a little much, and then you can't slow down. Again, though, full self-driving is in total control. You can see its speed limit's 40. We have it at 46, and it's doing 43. So it's still modulating depending on traffic and depending on the road, which is great. It's so smooth, this cruising. Again, braking early there. Just a little bit early. <laughs> I keep saying that, but it's, it's definitely a phenomenon that's happening right now. You can feel it in the car. On, on video though, it doesn't, it doesn't look too bad. We're slowing down, it looks like we're letting in this traverse. What a great move by Beta. Wow, very human-like observation there. The car can definitely see more than I can at any given point. We're gonna be taking a ride in here. You think FSD can get us into the car wash? I highly doubt it. We got a lot of construction here. Oh, I'm going to go ahead and take over. Beta was going to go ahead and keep going straight. The reason why is on the navigation, and this is a big issue right now, the navigation isn't correct, that there is no entrance on that other side. All right, we're back on the road again. Looks like we got a little detour here. Thank you. 
give it a little accelerator press here on FSD through this parking lot. Looks like somebody fell asleep at the wheel over there holding up the line. We're going to be taking it right out of this Goodwill. Is it going to let the car in front go? It looks like it is. Uh, she's waving us on. I didn't touch anything. She saw us pull up. She waved us on. Beta just took off again. That's why I feel like sometimes it can notice the waves. Or maybe it's just watching the car movement. Got quite a bit of traffic to our left. We should be clear for the first two lanes. Looks like we're pulling out into the first lane. And we're going to be merging over to our second lane. And our third lane. I do like that behavior. Very natural. All right, we got the green light. Now it looks like it wants to take us a different route. I'm gonna try to see if I can change it on the fly. Okay, I changed it on the fly. We got the arrow. And is Beta gonna change his mind? It is changing his mind, got the right arrow. We are clear on all sides. For some reason, I put in the nav and I chose this route, but I want to say it rerouted us back on the freeway. But we're doing all city suits testing on B12 today because we know full stack is not on the highway yet. Not B12, we're still on B11 on the highway. It's funny, this morning it was doing worse on the lanes. It was kind of doing more, you know, creeping onto the lane lines. And as I say that, it'll probably start doing that again. But I feel like it's been trajectory a lot better. The trajectory is better today. Kind of never know what you're going to get sometimes on the drive. Again, we have it at 15% over. It's kind of just slowing down because of traffic. I like it. Slowing down a little early for this light. Earlier I said about 100 yards on a couple other videos, but I feel like it's maybe about 20 yards. If it just started the slowdown process about 20 yards sooner, it would feel perfect. Got the green light. Good acceleration. Now sometimes this light's a protected left, sometimes it's a uh, blinking yellow. Right now we do have the green protection. Again, kind of hovering over the line here. We're kind of in the middle of both right now. I don't like that at all. I mean, it sets us up great for the turn, but it's definitely not accurate. We were going to go on the inside, but decided to go on the outside. I'm just wondering if humans really drive like this. You know, we're getting all the data from video clips. So it's, I guess it's about choosing the right drivers. Now we do have a 15 mile an hour school zone here and Beta definitely slowed down quite a bit even though that car wasn't slowing down. So it, I feel like it is recognizing that. We're going slower than the pace of traffic right now. Definitely far away from that car so we're, it's not like we're too close to the car it's slowing us down. This is all Beta. We do have it on uh, assertive, no minimal lane changes on this drive. Every time you start the car, you have to put it back into minimal lane changes. But the reason they start it without it, there has to be a reason, right? So we'll just leave it off for now. I feel in the previous versions, it was more important because beta was just changing lanes like crazy. It's much better now though, although it still has that behavior. Changing lanes at the wrong time, possibly. All right, so we're out of the school zone, just cruising. Again, breaking a little early, about just before I said it, which was a little too early. It must be something pre-programmed in, like a certain distance from the light. I can't figure it out. 
just about a mile to our destination. I'm going to pick up a couple Flying Dutchman hamburgers, and then we will be back. I'm just going to zip in and out, and we'll do another route, one more after this. All right, we do have the green. It's not protected. Merging into the lane very nice. Just a little slow. And let's see, we should just make a nice smooth turn, no hesitation. Very good. Nice acceleration. Got cross traffic pulling out. Beta kind of moved out of the way a little bit. Very good. Slowing down around this corner. Nice. Slowing down for the curve. Changing lanes. Then we're gonna go through the light and then make this tight. Again, slowing down way too early, just about 20 yards too early. It's so funny. Now we're gonna be taking a left into in and out here. This is a pretty tight little interchange with a pretty good traffic coming head on from us smoothly into here go full screen looks like we do have another truck coming right here looks like we're clear beta is pushing and we're going autopilot navigation complete looks like it's taking us around here in the parking lot i'm just curious what it's going to do here where does it show our end destination to the left Got the arrow on, making the turn. I do like how it kind of pulled out to make a more wider turn. We're just kind of inching up here. I want to see if it'll put on the auto park. I don't think so. We're just inching through the parking lot. Let's go ahead and take off beta. You can see the parking spots lined up. No one's behind me. So we're gonna to try to go into this one. I think you have to be stopped completely before it lights up. But it's so quick to respond. So yeah, before I couldn't actually choose the lane because you actually have to be at a full stop before you can pick the lane. But once you do, it's a very seamless, it happens very quick. Kinda of tight in this lane. It looks like we might have to do a three point. All right, beta's pulling back out a little bit. I don't think the cars in the lane line notice what's going on yet. And perfect spot. It's kind of moving the wheel a little bit here. Ah, it kind of got us in a little bit cocked in. Beta's pulling out again. And one more try, because it spun the wheel. It was actually right in there. Now it's straight so it doesn't like being cocked. All right, everybody, welcome back. We got our next destination in. We're back on FSD 12.3.3. Got the Porta subs. And let's see how she does. Just pulling straight out of this parking lot. Currently have it on uh, assertive, no minimal lane changes. Got the set speed set to 15% over. No auto set speed today. All right, looks like we are clear to the left for now. Now we got two trucks coming. Should be clear right after this Honda. There we go. Perfect. Merging over to the far lane. Love this behavior. Into the turning lane. Very human-like. That truck was merging in behind us as well. I love these new side cameras. We've had these for a while, but now when you turn, I mean, we've had them on for a while now. When you turn on the blinker, it, it shows up. I literally will not make a turn anymore without my blinker. This saves my butt, the blind spot. It's just put on your blinker, make sure you're clear, you're all set. What a great feature, it's so simple, right? 
We got the green arrow, protected left. It does show up red when someone is in your blind spot. Perfect turn, good acceleration. We do have a, it's at 25 mile an hour speed zone right in front of the fire station again. Now we are following traffic, so won't be a good representation how FSD handles it, but because we'll be slowing down to the cars. We are just cruising through. We slowed down quite a bit much there, enough to put a gap in the We got that other blinking yellow here. Let's see if we, beta's rendering it. Yep, it is rendering. Very smooth. A little wide in the lane, just a little. It is correcting. Very smooth corrections it does. It is inching up a little bit closer. Kind of hesitated there for a second. All right, we got the green light. I, I swear, as soon as the green light changed, I could feel beta kind of like this nudge just a tad. All right, now this, this road is pretty wide here. We're doing pretty good. Hanging to the left side, I do like it. I was always wondering how the new versions would handle these large roads. Again, one lane, we would definitely want to err to the line. All right, we got our turn coming up, 0.1 of a mile. We should be merging over here. Perfect. Love that trajectory, perfect. It definitely slows down too early because every single time I can feel it like it slows down early and then you can feel that coast motion. Ooh, they pulled up really close behind me. Nice turn, great speed, accelerating up, merging. smooth I would say it's funny because this morning it was it was hitting more lines and then in the afternoon is working even better so like you just really never know what's going on behind the scenes if there is any changes to like switches that might be getting flipped I doubt it right now but I, like I said I was saying earlier anytime there's a new update coming I feel like the old update starts having some uh, changes to it even before an update I don't know if that makes sense, but let me know if it makes sense to you if you ever had that phenomenon. Just cruising, we got this car turning. Like it wasn't even there, perfect. Well, I think that's gonna wrap it up for this video, guys. It's doing pretty great. Uh, we will stress test it some more through the city streets. I'm thinking about doing a night drive. And then also in the future here, pretty shortly, I'm trying to run down the battery right now. I want to do a 0 to 100 supercharging test. And we will see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.